welcome to Strawberry on the Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have Hebrews 6.12. We do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who, through faith and patience, inherit what has been promised. So, yeah, no idle hands here. <laughs> I know. And we're back in the other room, so the computer is acting silly with the whole... Um, auto adjust thing. We'll see how it goes. Uh, all right. I don't have anything off the hook. I have been very faithful. I have worked on just two things. Um, one is almost done and this is the wrap and oops, I hate when I put these in my bag with Tunisia because they just really go crazy. And I had to wrap this because worm will go after the last of the skein. Um, and it's all tangled too. All right. So I literally have just this much left, which is probably two or three rows. And this has grown and grown and grown. And this is what I've spent most of my time working on. I want to get it done. And then I haven't worked on the... Um, Table topper because I had to get my blog post done. I decided to do that series. Um, when this is done, I will sew it end to end as a wrap for a headscarf. Okay, it's not going to stay square. <laughs> so it will become like an infinity scarf type head wrap. So there's that one. Um, then I work, and there's a reason you'll see here in a minute. So this is the cranberry bonbon yarn that I got from Mary Maxima, and it had a purpose. And this goes with the um, blog that I'm writing on how to crochet a wrap. That is super simple, how I learned to crochet. I know most people start with a scarf, and it ends up cattywampus and all this. But my granny was a pretty smart little woman, and she wanted you to have something practical and something that you could use. So she taught me to crochet row by row. And that is exactly how this is going. They're free handed. There's no pattern. You kind of do your own thing, whatever stitch hits you at the time. Um, and this is only being worked on when I do the blog posts and the pictures for that. Uh, so it's just showing and I just address it one thing at a time once a week and I think there's going to be five in that series and I've already posted three. So, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Uh, that will be a wrap just for me. And as you saw, it's just going to be a five corner freestyle. Don't know. It's going to be like that blue one that I did a couple of weeks ago, just because I like the yarn. But while I have done that, um, the other thing I finished up, and I don't remember if I told you I finished them all up, but we're going to see. I've been more than crochet crafty this week, uh, and that's because I've been working on things. So, and, and you'll see what they are. They're super simple, too. Um, I got all of my little angels done. Okay. I, I think last week I had parts to do. I sat and finished them up. I didn't have very much to do. If I didn't show you these last week, um, I didn't have very much to do on them. But anyway, they're super cute. And I am using just jute to put, and I have some with the strings on them, but not very many. I think I've got two, but I've got to put just the strings on those. And that is absolutely done. So the angels are done. And that is what I'm giving away at work to everyone. Um, we're all adults. Yes, I think of them only when I'm at work. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Uh, when you have so many people at work that you deal with, it's hard to do for everyone. So I found something cute, little people can leave it in their office. People can take it home. People can put it on their tree, whatever. Don't care. Then I kind of got started. I kind of got started on, so I, I'm sorry, my sinuses are draining. Don't even know where to start with this one. Um, my shawl pin 
the, the, my go-to is a cow horn and it's been spun on a lathe and it's been polished up and it's just a ring. I, I don't know if you guys remember it. And then it's got a wooden dowel, uh, hand turned lathe, uh, stick through it, which is great. Except for one thing, it is getting very dry. I have tried to moisten it up or do something with it to keep it from splintering. It's cow horn. It's basically going to deteriorate over time. And um, th there's not a whole lot I can do about that. So I went online and was going to purchase myself a couple of shawl pins that I thought would be nice to have, you know, but I didn't want to give an arm and a leg. So, in my looking online, um, I found some, and I was very disappointed. Okay, I, I, I know that sounds terrible, but the shawl pin that I saw looked just like this. Okay, um, that's kind of, I guess I need something dark. Okay. It looked just like this. And I thought, that's just wire. So I jumped online and they wanted like $37 for it. And I went, that's a little more than I, I plan to pay. Um, I had hoped to kind of pay, you know, $40 just for two or, and that included shipping and handling. So anyway, I ended up getting online and researching um, gauges of wire and stuff. And I found at my local little Hobby Lobby um, craft wire. And I also found, I found two kinds. Okay, I found some shiny silver. And then I found this lovely brown. It, it's not copper. I want to say bronzy, but it's, it's just craft wire. And it's 16 gauge because that's what I saw online everybody using to make bracelets and rings. So I thought, hey, if it'll make a bracelet or a ring, it will make a shawl fan. So I sat down and I literally played with wire this week. And I've made a couple. You can tell. Now, this is one of my first ones, okay? You can tell because it's really... It looks amateurish. Okay, I'm just saying. The pin itself, they, they're all super easy. Um, and again, this is out of the bronze. Okay. And I just folded over the top this. And I might find a different way to do that. Sometimes it still catches in the wool, especially the thicker ones. And I did make sure that I have two places to put my little rod here. Um, so... Yeah, this one is kind of amateurish, and I was like, hmm. And I was just playing with it freeform, make a bubble, you know, make a circle. So I made that one. And then I decided to try the one that I saw online, and I made this one, okay, which came out a lot better. Then I decided to get a little... um crafty with it, I guess. And I did this one still, it, it still it looks a little amateurish. Um, not great, but not bad. It's usable for me. And I started to get really creative with them. Okay. And all of these have a stick. So then I got this one and each one got better. I, I put a little niche in this one so that it might hold the shawl a little bit better. So the sticks themselves are just straight and it'll have one of two tops that I've learned to make. Okay. One is just a swirl. And as you can see there, I've kind of gotten it better. Okay. So, and then the other one that I commonly make is this three leaf clover looking thing, which I've gotten really good at that, as you can tell. So I 
made a few others and I got a little bit better at it and a little bit better at it. <laughs> I don't know how to hold these really. This is the one I wore to work yesterday. I learned to twist the wire. The first twist that I did, I've actually redone. Oh, and I make, made this little tougher thing too. It looks really cute with this one. Um, I've learned to balance them with the design so that I've got swirls here. And then this pin goes um, like so. Remember that it goes down up and then it'll go across here and so it's going to look like that and it's got swirls on this end to balance the swirls on that end so then and i did this one of a mixture um i've got a little swirl at this end let me i've got a little swirl at this one and this one I wrapped with the brown or the bronzy and then I did the pin and bronze and then this inside is the silver so it, it came out kind of like a wreath came out really good but the one that I spent the most time on and I really love it I love the way it turned out and it did take me longer okay I'm not gonna fibber lie to you it took me quite a long time to do it but I had made this guy right here. Okay. There we go. And so I made a silver one. They're different in size, but there's a reason. Then I played with the uh, loop that I did, you know, for the three leaf clover thing. And now I can't find it. Yeah. <laughs> of course, when I want it, I can't find it. Anyway, I played with, and there's, yeah, there it is. So I learned to do this one, and then I decided to try this one. And this looked like a flower to me. So then I took it, and I put it with the silver one that I made. And this is my most intricate, and it does make a flower um, shawl pin. And it will go up and down, and I think it's, I love it. Uh, you can see the progression in the work that I did to um, how more, how smoothly they go. And like I said, this is my favorite. Okay. But then I got to sit in there. And if y'all remember, I had a ring that I broke and it broke my heart. RJ and Tori had gotten it for me. Those are my children. And it is a little bit. And I thought, if I can do this with wire, I should be able to replace my ring. Okay, so my rings are not perfectly round. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. But it, I used different size dowels to try and, and I had used the dowels in that. Um, and so I thought, I can do this ring. So I made this. There. All right. Now the difference was is mine that the kids bought me had two wires and this swirl, this swirl right here. Okay. So it was this swirl came around and then the um, end of it had like a little round dot on it. And then this one came around and it had a little, and they met in the middle, but the, it was soldered. And so, yeah, I wore it on my thumb for literally probably 10 years. And now, oops, sorry. I kind of have it back. It's not exactly the same, but yeah, I made that one. Then I thought, oh, I wonder what else I can do. <laughs> you know me, no idle hands. And so I ended up making this one. Mm -hmm. and that one there are points in each one that I think I can can improve like 
this, the wire doesn't come together as pretty as I'd like it. But here's the thing. I was using dowel rod. I don't have the metal um, things that you make rings and bracelets with. I don't have any fancy tools. I literally was using the same cutters that I have done for years. I have two pair. Um, this is my oldest and the cutting part doesn't work as well. And I can't get them sharpened because everybody's like, you can't get anything down in there. So I had bought another pair I don't remember when, and I had been using these for, to do the wires on the beads. Anyway, so I had them out. Anyway, to say the least, I am super happy with those shawl pins, and I am thinking, here's the deal. I literally made some of those in two or three minutes. The one that took me the most time was probably... 15 to 20 minutes to do this one. Okay. And that includes both parts. Now, 15 to 20 minutes. The wire that I bought, they were nine. I think this one was eight. Nine, nine, this one nine. nine, nine I don't remember because it's 16 gauge wire, but they had different amounts on them. And I think this one had the, a little bit less on it. So anyway, I spent $20 to get these two. Um, then I already had the pliers, $20 to get these two. And I have all of these that I just showed you, the picks, and I have three rings and this, and I have more of this left than I have of this, but okay, $20 in my time. You just heard me say this one's like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. These were whipped out in literally, this was took me less than two seconds. Literally, it's wrap around and do. Um, this one, mm, I wouldn't sell it, but uh, this one, which is, I think of a musical note. I don't know why. I just, a uh, clef. These literally took me this one I had a little bottle that I wrapped it around. If I wanted to get more professional with this, that's fine. Um we're talking it took me just minutes to make these. Absolutely minutes. I would say that none of the shop pins I saw online were as intricate as this. Okay. I, I'm not there was some that were you know wrapped like this. Um, and there were some that were wrapped like this. This was the common was the round one and wrapped some wire around it. And this is the exact same one that I saw for $37.50 plus shipping and handling. This literally took me just a few minutes. Um, is it the exact shape of theirs? Probably not. I don't see where they got $37.50 for this. Okay. I really don't. That is just people trying to make a killing because I, I'm not seeing where that kind of cost. I just told you it took me literally minutes. Okay. And it did. It literally just took me minutes. <clears throat> and I made a whole collection. This was like done in just a couple hours of playing with wire. All of it. And I stopped. I talked. I did other things. Um, and when a little design would pop in my head, I'd go do it. This whole collection, I don't have $37.50 in. I'm okay with that. So I thought... That if y'all need shawl pins, let me know. <laughs> because I would be honored to make y'all one and not charge you $37.50. If I had to set a price to these, and, and this sounds horrible, and people are going to tell me that I am downplaying, I wouldn't charge more than $5 for one of these. Okay, I'm not trying to be funny, but... 
$5 plus shipping and handling. Now, here is the realistic breakdown of that. I have an hour's worth of work in there, maybe two, if I add it all together, because I was doing other things. I did dishes. I did, oh, that would be a cute design. And I'd come back and play literally minutes on each of these. So if I sell two for $5, I have recouped the cost of my wine, of my wire. <clears throat> if I sell, and let's say I have two hours in it at 10 bucks an hour, that's 20. So I need to sell $30 worth just to break even. And that includes my time and everything. So let's look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in two hours. If we break that down, you're up to one. I don't want to step on it. If we break that down to two hours, okay, at $10 an hour, we don't have a lot of labor in each one. And that $5 is going to cover the few minutes that I had in it, okay? Because $10 an hour, eight of them in an hour, let's just say six, of, if I can do six of them in an hour, that's 10 minutes. So, yeah, that's like, what, 60 cents a piece? You know, 10 cents, a dollar a piece, say a dollar in labor, okay? Because you're doing 10 an hour at $10 an hour. So, let's just say a dollar in labor. And the cost of the wire. Five dollars, you know, you sell two or three of these and you've got all your costs back. And I'm not done. I, I could make more. You know, I don't see thirty seven fifty as a reasonable price for these. I really don't. Um, I understand people will pay that and and if you undercharge, they'll think it's, I'm not undercharging. If I was to do that, okay, so this one would probably be a $10 one because I had to put more effort into this and thinking it out, drawing the design. And, and, and this is a $10 pin. I still don't see $37.50 in it. Okay, I'm dropping it, but I still don't see $37.50 in it plus shipping and handling. It just isn't. And the good thing about these, this is going to sound so terrible. You can bend these, and, and I've done it with a couple of them. You can bend them this way and use them for hair pieces and put your stick through. So it gets caught in my frizzy hair if you've got too many whirls. I have noticed that. So this one right here, I swooped. And I actually have put it in my hair. And it doesn't get so caught. If there's too many little loops and swirls, it gets caught in my hair. Um, this one, it kind of went between the little things and got caught in my hair. But this one, as you can tell, <laughs> you just make them swoop. So now I can sell them as hair barrettes or hair accessories. And... I still don't think this is a thirty-seven fifty hair accessory. Okay, I don't even think the rings are thirty-seven fifty. I wouldn't sell any of this stuff that I made. Not that it doesn't look professional, and not that it isn't absolutely beautiful. But my high dollar one is my flower because I had to orchestrate it. Okay, Oops. you know, I had to make it come together to look like a flower. I had to actually put some thought into what the flower was going to be. I can't believe I'm dropping these all the time. What part the flower was going to be and what the stem was going to look like. And so, yeah, this one, I'd say $10 because this one took a lot more thought. Any of the others, $5. Okay. I'm not saying that... Some aren't worth that, but unless this is just wire, guys, this is 16 gauge wire that you can get at your local craft store. Store. They also have gold. I just decided I was only getting two kinds, and I kind of like this 
um, the contrast of the two so I can use it together. But anyway, that's enough of that rant. I'm not paying $37.50. And if anybody's interested, I would be more than happy to make you a personalized shell pen. It, it might take me a little bit of time. And if you have a design in mind, try dialing it out with one line and see if it can be done. Uh, yeah. And, and I didn't even buy. I saw some that wrapped with smaller wire to add pieces to it. I haven't done any of that. All of this is one solid piece. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is one solid piece. The two ends are right here. Okay, even the wrap. The only one that is two pieces is this one, and that's to get the color contrast. Okay, you can see up here is the thing. And it took me a little bit of work to learn to hide the thing. So it's all hidden up in the top. So if you show it frontwards, it doesn't show. But on the back side, it does. Um, but yeah, so even the rings are just one solid piece of wire in a certain way but yeah it is what it is <laughs> but I'm not paying that so all right moving on RJ had um we don't have anything in the field drought killed it all the duck is doing great he's got friends that come and go um the pond I haven't worked on it. I told y'all I'm, I'm pretty much done. It's all cleared. We're waiting for the drought to break and there to be enough rain that we can burn that big old pile of brush and get rid of it. Uh, Halloween. We had Halloween. My costume is gone. I don't know if you can see back there, but I wore it. It was great. I'm not really a big Halloween fan, dress up fan, but it was okay. It was, you know, team effort, group effort, whatever you want to call it. Um, then I have a meeting with a boss today. Ooh. So I'll be going in a little bit early. Just doing uh, just crafty stuff. Christmas is almost done. I've got, I went to the CWRA finals, um, just drove down one day. It was Sunday. Um, just by myself, just drove down had lunch and stuff. Got to watch RJ rope. Um, he missed his flank. He did place in a round, but he missed his flank on the third round and the first round. That calf had not been, it, it was just a horrible calf and it didn't get caught all CWRA finals. So if, basically if you drew that calf, it just, it was horrible. Anyway, not horrible. It, it was a horrible calf. The event wasn't a horrible. The calf was. Um, so went down there, had lunch or it was more like dinner. It was kind of, it was after the show, but it wasn't quite dinner time yet. So we went out and ate and then I came home and that's how I spent my Sunday. Uh, and then of course today is, yesterday was Monday. It was Halloween. We don't do, we live right on the highway. We've never had any trick or treaters. So we just never have, we always have you know, treats in the house in case somebody shows up, but nobody showed up. Uh, then what else went on this week? Absolutely nothing. I've been crafting and playing with the wire and just can't believe how much those cost online. Um, the blog, been doing it. Um, an RJ update. So his knee, he went to a specialist who sent him to physical therapy and he's got, he went to physical therapy yesterday and his knee is good, but it's not a hundred percent. And every time he turns a certain way, it really hurts. Like bring him to his knees hurt. And uh, so the physical therapist is, he's got two more sessions with them. And then if they don't think that physical therapy is going to help him, then, uh, they're going to send him for an MRI and we'll see what he's done to that leg. It, it just amazes me that between insurance and that there's progressions of step, you can't just send him for an MRI to see what's wrong with it. You have to go through all these things because they won't pay for the MRI until you've done all this stuff. That's crazy. 
crazy, crazy. So I remember when you were a kid, you fell, hurt yourself, whatever you go in. They didn't say, well, you got to do all this stuff before we can see what's wrong with it. They did x-rays or whatever to see what was wrong with it. And they went to fix it. Not let's try this. Let's try that. Let's try something else, you know, and he won't take pills. So, um, he won't take any kind of pain pill. If it's anything more than an aspirin or ibuprofen, you're not going to get him to take it. So, uh, I don't really think that that's a issue with him. <laughs> so, all right. I do need to get, I'm already dressed. I got to get my makeup on and get my hair done, but, uh, I just wanted to show you those pins. I know it's kind of a little rant, but I couldn't see the cost in them. I, I really couldn't. And I get not to devalue my work. Trust me. I know what it takes to make these things. Um, but this, this is the first time I've ever played with wire. Okay. And if I can make something that looks professional as that. Okay. And if I can come up with something that looks like this, okay, like a flower, because I wanted a flowery one. Woohoo. If I can come up with this the first time I ever play with wire. And, and I mean, be serious about it and do. And, and, you know, they get tangled though. That's the only thing. If I can come up with this, um, I can make the exact same ones that you're seeing online. They should not cost an arm and a leg. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not devaluing my work. If you figure my time where I literally whipped these things out, you figure the cost of the materials. I don't have 37.50 in this. Honestly. And that's not devaluing my time. That's making, you know, 10 bucks an hour. So, and if you look at it, well, you've got the time and investment in selling these. Okay. If you have an online shop, you know that that doesn't cost anything. It's just the transactions. Um, and so there is a fee on each transaction that you do. I understand charging, shipping, and handling. The transaction fee if you're selling these for five bucks, we're talking less than a dollar in fees, way less than a dollar. So the cost of doing this for five dollars, that gives me my supplies back, that gets me my time in it, and that covers my fees, then I would be making money. So I, I just don't see it. Anyway, I'm off on that tangent. I will see you guys next week. Please keep RJ in your prayers and, and that. And hopefully he'll get the MRI he needs after he has two more days of physical therapy. And then uh, we'll figure out what's going on with that. But yeah, other than that, everything else is good. So just keep doing what you're doing and hang in there. And thanks for watching. Bye.